Hey all, this is part 13, and we're going to be determining if a value is an array. Pretty straightforward uh, video here. There's a method, it's array.isArray. We pass to it something that we want to decide if it's an array or not. So here's two examples without a ton of context going on, just an array and a string, and we'll pass each of those to array.isArray. So if it's an array, array.isArray, this expression will return true. Sorry, we'll evaluate to true. And if it is uh, not an array, then we'll evaluate to false. Let's talk about a slightly more involved example. To be sure, though, the example for this one with context doesn't really do that much for us. Um, you could consider the idea being that we are testing to verify an input or verify some step in the process. It hasn't changed from an array to not an array. Uh, so we have a holidays array. And we're going to say, is holidays an array, and assign that to an, a call to array.isArray. And then we have an event date, which we're going to have the same treatment for. So holidays is an array, true. Event date is an array, false. Relatively straightforward, especially compared to displays. We're going to complete a function that takes in one parameter, possibly an array, and returns whether the input is an array or not. Your function should create a variable, assign it to an expression that tells whether the input parameter is an array or not using the array.isArray method, then return that variable. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function is an array. Grab our stub, paste it in, grab our test cases, paste those in, create a result variable, and assign it to a call to the applicable method. Result is equal to array.isArray on the input then we'll return result. We hit run, we should get true, and then false in a case where we have an array, and in a case where we do not have an array. Um, now that we've got that sorted out, let's go ahead and paste it in. And we'll run our test, and we have cause for celebration. Okay, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.